hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how to build a qr code and barcode scanner inside javascript so basically this is a tool that we will be building so i have uh, successfully deployed this tool on my website codingsiksha.com and if you go to qr barcode scanner so basically this is the tool that i deployed here on my website here you will see that you will find out this tool here which is you can see that automatically your camera will be selected if you want to select a different camera you can even select different cameras it will list the different cameras which are available inside your device which is pc or laptop you can select from different cam cameras here so this is my web camera here so i will select this and then it will start you need to click this button of start scanning so now this will have your granted the permissions to your camera so this will automatically detect whenever you are using mobile phone laptop or pc you just need to scan the barcode you and the qr code and then it will automatically de detect what is inside that barcode or qr code so this is scanning through uh, scanning these qr codes and barcodes through webcam so basically we are scaling through this there is also an other an, an, another option which you can do you can also provide an input image file so you can also scan an image file here you just need to choose this file here and i have this qr code saved on my machine so you just need to have the qr code and basically if you choose the file here you will now see the result here which is codingsiksha.com so basically it uh, automatically detects what is contained inside this barcode and basically it will show you the result whenever you choose that qr code like this also you can upload a barcode as well so you can see if i upload a barcode image you will now see this will this is a number which is contained inside this so this can be any URL, text, image, video which will be contained inside barcode and QR code. It will be able to understand it and scan it using an image. You can even con scan it through a camera as well. So simply you need to start, start scanning it. This is the permission. You can see all the cameras are listed here. You just need to scan your QR code and barcode. And the second option is for scanning through image file so provide a barcode image or you can provide a qr code image it is totally up to you which image you need to provide it will scan the result and display right here inside this at the bottom side so this is a tool that i developed here you can see coding section slash qr barcode scanner so i have given that tool in the description of the live stream so you can go to that and download all the source code and I have written a complete blog post guys which is uh, JavaScript project to build QR code and barcode scanner using, web using webcam and image files. So basically this is all the source code that you will need. A single indexed HTML file. So just go to the description of the blog post to download all the source code. So now let's get started by building this application. So just create an indexed HTML file guys. So here we will be giving a title that is QR code and barcode scanner in JavaScript. So basically here what we need to do is that after doing this we also need to write the include the JavaScript library guys which is jQuery. You need to include it CDN just after the title so include the CDN like this and also we will be using this library which is script tag so simply copy paste it this is the library minified code you can also create a separate file for this just create uh, script source create library.js and inside that library.js simply copy paste this code so this is a minified code here you will see that this is the library that we are using in order to scan the code so just remove the script tag we don't need the script tag 
So this is a minified library guys that we are using for this project library.js simply copy paste that code and now basically we can write the HTML part. So the HTML part is very much simple guys if you see here. If I show you the HTML part here in the video. So basically in the body part we will have a h1 heading. So we will align that heading in the center position. Align sorry text align to center. So here we will simply say that QR code and barcode scanner So after this heading guys we will have two break tags just to create some space then we will have a ID of a QR reader and basically we will be giving a style to it of width to auto and text align will be center so this is just a div tag and after that we will have another div tag for displaying the QR code re result or barcode results like this so this is all the HTML guys which is needed for this application and also we need to write some style sheet so make a style tag and here we will be giving some margin from the top position or body tag 50 pixel and also from the bottom position 100 pixel so just write this so after this guys now basically we are ready to write some custom javascript here so here when we load the page we need to grant permission to access the to the camera so here first of all we will initialize this html5 qr code scanner is equal to new html5 qr code scanner basically this is a library that we are calling here you can see we have included this library.js so inside this library we are got a constructor here you need to pass first argument as qr reader basically this is the id that we have given here qr reader here you will see that and then fps what is the fps that you want i will be telling 10 QR box to be 250 and after this we will simply say HTML QR code send, uh, scanner render on scan success so basically whenever it is done rendering the HTML5 QR code scanner basically what it will do it will call this function which is on scan success put a semicolon here so I think it needs to be Uh, it needs to be present inside this function which is whenever you call this function if you see here we are calling this here Let me again paste it. 
so now you can see that so now we need to make this function on scan success if you just open this with live server nothing will be there so we need to make this function on scan success so right here inside this whenever it is scanned successfully what is there So here at the very top we will make this function which is function on scan success so this will have the decoded text and decoded result decoded uh, text will be simply the text which is there inside the QR and bar barcode and basically we will have now if condition here we will check if decoded text is not equal to last result so here then we will be incrementing the count results variable we will make last, last result to be equal to decoded result and then basically inside our QR code QR reader results diff we will be manipulating the inner HTML so we will be displaying the results in a simple table so this will be a table tag like this so just paste it so you can see uh, we have this table here which is number result we are displaying the decoded text here basically and now inside this guys first of all we need to wrap all this inside doc ready this is a jQuery function So here we need to first of all get the reference to the container. So which is QR reader results. If you see we have given an ID to this div variable which is if you closely look in the index.html we have given this ID which is QR reader results. Here the results will be displayed and also we need to create two more variables here which is last result and count results to be zero and one more function guys if you see if I refresh it nothing will happen because we haven't granted access to the permission to the web camera so here you need to write doc ready fn if document dot ready state is equal to complete or document dot ready state is equal to complete or uh, sorry interactive then in either of the cases we need to show the camera so set timeout we will call this sorry fn1 in the else block we will simply document dot add event listener dom content loaded fn that's it so now if you write like this guys uh, i think hopefully the camera will be displayed here you will see that request camera permissions if you do like this your camera will be displayed here you will be able to scan the result or you can use an image file 
you can now see the result is displaying here so this is all that is needed for this project guys this javascript code you can even select qr code so this service is deployed on my website codingsiksha.com guys qr barcode scanner all the source code is also given please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next tutorial